Hi, I'm Mark Kortz. This is Adam Rasmussen. Today, we're out on Lake Michigan and we're gonna teach you how to use all the critical data at your fingertips to make your day a lot more successful on the water. Fish on. Oh, good one. Nice. <laughs> He's going the other way, Corky. That's a good thing. What's he doing there, bud? He wants nothing to do with coming to the boat right now, that's for sure. This is a fun thing with salmon. They like to uh, they like to run a lot. That is a good one. I just got a glimpse of them back there. What depth was that one at? I had that one set at 53. Nice three-year-old. Nice Ready? Three -year -old. Yep. There we go. Nice, nice job. Awesome. That's a good one too. I'll tell you what, he ate that spoon right off that new Optimum Cannon Downrigger. Here's a beautiful Lake Michigan Chinook salmon. Nice little three-year-old. And the great thing is with the Canon Optimum Downrigger, with the push of one button, we can get that bait down to the same depth. Let's get him unhooked and get that bait back down there. All right, so quick rundown on how we attack this giant body of water and how we run our lines on our setup. We're gonna start out with our high lines. <clears throat> so outside we've got lead core lines, copper lines. We've got those running 30 to 50 feet down right now. And then we come into our dipsy lines. We've got those set in that 40 to 50 foot range, mid depth range. And then we get into our downriggers. The biggest thing with the downriggers, with our Bluetooth technology on the Canon Optimas and the Fishhawk F4, it gives us all of our crucial, crucial data down below that we need to know where these temperature breaks are and current breaks. We don't have a lot of structure on big bodies of water like this, so that is the structure. Current breaks, temperature breaks, that's where your bait fish are gonna hold, and therefore that's where the rest of the fish are gonna be feeding on them. So all that critical data that we have, temperature down below, speed down below, that's so much different from up on top, relays right onto our optimum downriggers. So one cool thing we're using out here today on our Canon Optimum Downriggers is the auto depth cycle mode. So we're seeing a lot of fish on our hummingbird unit. They're in one particular part of the water column. So what this auto cycle does is automatically moves our downrigger up and down. So it's great for covering a range of depth, sometimes triggering those fish that are known for following your bait for so long. Fish on. Another good one, Adam. Nice. What was on that one? Oh, a spoon of some sort, that 150 copper. You know, one of the things, Adam, I think is crucial um, and why downriggers are so critical in what we do is, is matching the depths, you know, and, and spreading out your whole spread um, and trying to cover the water column. No, no different than we're doing with our coppers or our lead cores. And the cool thing about the downriggers versus snap weights or any of that is their exact depths. I see leader. Oh, well, get the net. Two-year-old. Good griller. There we go. Same spoon again. Same spoon. I think it's about time we grab another one of those. I think so. This honestly is, is truly one of Lake Michigan's best eaters right here. Everybody wants to come out here for the big ones, but those on the grill don't get much better. Let's get that back out and get fishing. Perfect. So this is the main forge in Lake Michigan. Uh, we actually just went through a pot of fish and snagged one on one of our spoons, but this is what the salmon are targeting. Lake Michigan alewife, probably a five-year-old. And that's why we're trying to match it with that same spoon size. We're using the Magnum spoons. So one of the main things we look for out here is temperature breaks and, and slicks. And what a lot of times happens is, is two different water temperatures will come together and create that slick and you'll get a current there and the birds relate to that. And what happens is all this bait, these alewives and things like that get pushed up on there and then the fish will come in and feed. And we actually seen some birds work in there. And when we turned the boat and went into them, that's where we had that last salmon too. So very crucial in paying attention to your surroundings and what's happening. You know, the other thing is critical is paying attention to your hummingbird electronics. As you can see right now, we've actually got a thermocline setting up. And what that is, that's the major temperature break and a lot of times what happens is that bait will really orientate itself to that thermocline in return, that's where the fish are gonna be. So the more we can pay attention, 
to all of the things, whether it's our fish hawk, whether it's our hummingbirds, or whether it's our downriggers, that's gonna make you more efficient and be able to catch more fish the next time you're on the water. You know, it's late September, and today's bite was a struggle. A lot of those salmon are up there spawning, and a lot of them are done spawning. So, you know, we were trying to find a needle in the haystack, and that one boat network, whether we talk about the optimum downriggers, whether we talk about the hummingbird units, or whether we talk about the fish hawk, truly gave us the upper hand. And the ability to adjust depths and trigger those few fish that were around was definitely the key. Definitely helped us today. Check them out at canondownriggers.com. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors.